Prior to conducting the pre-use or daily checks, ensure that the machine is securely parked in a safe area and on level, firm ground. You should always have the key with you. All the required PPE must be worn, hard hat, safety glasses, high-vis, long sleeve top, high-vis trousers, resistant gloves and safety boots. Before starting your shift, make sure that you conduct a thorough walk around of your machine. Check any moving parts and connections are secure. Check all hoses are secure and that there are no signs of leaks or damage. Check tyres are in good condition and suitably inflated and all four rims for damage and wear. It is important that you also check the inside tyre walls. If tyre pressures appear low during your visual checks, Check the pressures with a gauge and reinflate if you are trained to do so. Check all wheel nut indicators are aligned. Check cameras are clean and unobstructed. Check mirrors are in good condition and not damaged. Check all windows are in good condition and clean. Check the cab and protective structures, that's the ROPS and FOPS, for damage. Check all guards are in good condition and free from damage. For these checks, ensure the engine is switched off and has cooled down. Remember, hot components can cause burns. Open the engine access bay on the right of the machine. Check the radiators for dirt and if necessary, ensure they are cleaned in order to avoid damage to the engine. Check the coolant level is visible in the sight glass. If the coolant level is low, coolant must be added. Use caution when removing the radiator cap. Slowly release the pressure from the system before removing the cap fully. Once the system is topped up, fully secure the cap again. Check the air breather element by squeezing the rubber grommet at the bottom of the air filter to ensure that no excess debris comes out of it. Also check the insulating mats in the engine compartment for any signs of damage. Check the engine oil level by removing the dipstick and wiping off any excess oil with a clean cloth. Reinstate the dipstick. Remove the dipstick again and check the oil level is between the minimum and maximum marks. You must drain water from the fuel system. Where there is a possibility of fluid being spilt or leaking, ensure that suitable containment equipment is in place to minimise any possible contamination of the ground or the environment. To do this, open the drain valve at the bottom of the fuel filter. Drain the water into a suitable container. Once fuel appears instead of water, close the drain valve. All excess fluids and any cloths or rags used must be disposed of safely and in accordance with site rules. Check that the brake fluid level in the reservoir is at the level indicator. If the brake fluid level is below the level indicator, hydraulic oil must be added. To check the hydraulic oil level, the machine needs to be parked on level ground with the engine switched off. Release the pressure from the hydraulic system and isolate the machine. Check the sight glass on the left of the machine. The oil level must be in the middle of the sight glass. If the hydraulic level is too low, this must be recorded and reported as it will require topping off. Check the steps and handrails are secure, free from debris and check any signs of damage. Always use three points of contact when mounting or dismounting a machine and always face the machine when doing so. Check that the operator seat is in the correct position and adjust as appropriate. Check all mirrors are correctly adjusted to give maximum visibility. Check the seat belt is in good condition and that the webbing is not frayed or cut and that fasteners are secured. Check the buckle of the seat belt is in good condition and that it locks into place correctly. Ensure that the seat swivel function is fully operational and locked in its final position. Check all gauges and switches for signs of damage. Check that the horn and reversing signal are operational. Turn on all machine lights, indicators and flashing beacons and check that they are clean and functioning properly. With the engine started, check for any faulty gauges. For these checks, ensure the skip is lowered and the engine is started. To 
Check the parking brake function, apply the parking brake, engage speed range 1 and select direction. Press the accelerator for at least 5 seconds and the machine must not move. To check the foot brake function, press the foot brake firmly. Release the parking brake, engage speed range 1 and select direction. Press the accelerator for at least 5 seconds. The brake pedal must not give way and the machine must not move. To check the drive and steering, ensuring that it is safe to do so, move the machine forward slowly and steer in both directions. Bring the machine to a safe and controlled stop. Apply the parking brake and place the machine into neutral. Ensure that it is safe to do so and with the parking brake applied and the machine in neutral, slowly raise the skip fully. Rotate both left and right if a swivel skip is fitted. While the skip is fully raised, check the hydraulic ram and rod for any signs of wear or damage from the cab. Lower the skip back into its default position. Before conducting weekly checks, ensure the skip is in the raised position with the safety bar engaged. Some machines are fitted with an auto lubrication system. This may not cover all the required lubrication points. Lubricate the machine in line with manufacturer's recommendations. Visually check the axle mountings for tightness. Check access and egress points from the machine to ensure they are free from obstructions or damage. Any defects should be recorded and reported immediately. Always refer to the operator manual if you are in need of further clarification. This is located in the cab. If you are still in doubt or have any safety concerns, stop what you are doing immediately. Isolate the machine and seek advice from your supervisor.